What up, y'all? We back at it again with another reaction video. Today, we're about to be reacting to Kevin Samuels' most savage moments. I don't know if you guys seen my last video where I had my brother and my other homie, Kevin, reacting to one of his videos. If you guys haven't seen that one, link uh, a link to the video will be at the end of this video. Uh, but we're about to react to Kevin Samuels' most savage moments because we know Kevin Samuels does not hold back. All right, let's get right into the video, y'all. If you guys do find value out of this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment your thoughts on Kevin Samuels below, okay? Let's get it. Children can come out of whatever I do. I can be 70 years old, and as long as I'm not shooting blanks, I can make babies. You can't. Right. The reason why mm. um, I became a phlebotomy technician That's is because up. there's something called a paramedical insurance exam. Get called, the fuck off my phone, speak. bitch. I don't get fuck the phone. Get, go take blood, boy. Came you and look a job where people quiet in the background. He said, "Go take what?" See, bro, like this. This is what I'm talking about, bro. He he just he does not hold back, and he got the little slap button too. Have you watched one of my videos? A three-hour video from front to back. That girl situation when he was ranking. That okay, girl. You're not paying attention. Oh, oh, she got her home girl. Talk to him. I'm have like, you watched I'm one sorry. of my video? Have you watched a full video of mine from front to back? One, one of my live streams. I just saw, I just saw one video. Um, was it the whole? One I think video. it was a whole video of some girl when you when you were. He was ranking her. He asked her what her what what her. He asked her what she ranked herself. I have a full three hour show that I do, and you. Here's the thing, bro. Like about that video, bro. Kevin Samuels asked this lady to rank herself on a scale of one to 10. And of course the girl said she was a 10. She's like, oh, I'm a 10. Any man would be lucky to have me. Woo, woo, woo. And I think it was the lady that was a little overweight and he get, he kept it real. He was like, you're not a 10. He was like, you have two kids. Yeah, I mean, you're overweight. Men don't like overweight females. Yeah, I mean, men don't like overweight women. And he like kept it real with her. The thing is, bro, some people just don't, like hearing the hard truth like so many people are coddled so much told they're beautiful every single day by all these dudes that are just trying to run those and then it gets up here that oh i'm a queen i deserve whoa 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 the world owes me this this and this honestly nobody owes anybody anything and this this whole uh, watched a seven minute clip I challenge you and your friend to go back to my channel That's and watch nice. the full so 30 minutes. Ah, oh, nah, no. see, so I'm not mean? going to do this. See, here's, see, then this I'm is the problem. You the but, but, but you haven't even. You have see, this is one thing that I do not like. It's like when you're trying to talk to someone, it, it doesn't even matter the the sex of the person like you could be having a conversation with somebody and somebody that's constantly trying to over talk you just so they can get their point across like wait till some like I'm finished talking or wait till somebody else is finished talking before you respond because then it just makes you look rude and then all it does is just irritate the other person to where it goes f to something that it doesn't have to be you feel me and like whenever somebody does that like whether I'm on the phone with shorty or not and arguing and you can't even talk I just bro I just hang up the phone like just stop talking to him, bro, because at that point, you're just wasting your time and your breath, bro. I haven't even responded and to what I said. Sense. You haven't even watched the full video of where the excerpt was coming from. And then, but your mm -hmm. friend has the nerve to make a judgment that women mm -hmm. have no problem judging men on partial information. Please stop being mm. Please. And you, act, you women are acting just like so many women who get upset. You have little to no information. You're not willing to do mm. the work to ask you certain questions and what you're responding to i'm responding back to it so you're you're referring to past videos but i'm referring to now she's trying to like she's trying to do everything in her power to be right at this point just because he embarrassed her kind of bad a lot of people do that because of pride it's not just women that do that but like i'm just noticing that that's what she's trying to do like using justification and then trying to uh use the justification for her misrepresentation of her previous argument as sort of like a transition into a new argument. Well, I wasn't 
Like, the problem's not even about that. It's really about this, this, and this. It's just what you said before previously just rubbed me the wrong way. I guarantee you that's exactly what they're about to say. Things that you're telling me now. But you don't even let me, you don't even let other people talk. You're asking me how old I am. You're generalizing women. See, 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 bro. See, but what she said was complete cap. She was the one that was interrupting him. You see it in the video. The justification is just not there. No, we haven't had sex. Okay. Why? Why? Because I don't. I'm stingy. I'm stingy with the with the puss. Excuse me. I'm stingy with it. If you, if you're married, if you're married, this is why the divorce rate is so high, bro. If you're married, oh my goodness. I guarantee that man cheated, bro. Just based off of what she said, I you can already tell the man cheated, bro. Or he left or he divorced her. Because, yeah, bro. Marriage is um, about a team, not just an individual person, bro. So, not give it up easily. Were you married to your, were you married to your daughter's, your, your baby mama, bro, right? Baby, I've never been married, no, but I just okay, don't. So I know. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let, let's talk about this, though. See, She's trying to skip um, over and get her. I find it funny that women like yourself, baby mamas, all of a sudden want to get stingy with the puss. Mm. You done gave your you up before a ring. Mm. Oh my goodness, bro. He said it. He said it, bro. He said it, bro. See? See, he said it. He said, now you want to be stingy, but before you were getting ran. You were getting viciously ran. And now, okay. All right, not not okay. All right, he he breaking her down. He breaking her down, bro. But then you want the high value man to put a ring on it before he gets it. Who am I supposed to give it away? You got damn right, you already did. Because here's the thing. See, that's what I mean, <clears throat> man. You're a used vehicle wanting brand new 2021 prices. <laughs> you can laugh all you want to, man, but you didn't. Because it's here's fact, the thing. Though. It's fact, though. It's fact though oh my goodness bro the transmission is used bro the transmission is used bro she already blew the head gasket <laughs> she already blew the head gasket y'all those parts are not new you know what i mean it, it's not new b he 100 percent right but then you want the high value man to put a ring on it before he gets it mm. what am i supposed to Girl, you a June bug trying to act like a Tesla. Because here's the thing. See, that's what I mean. <clears throat> Man, you're a used vehicle you be trying to keep it together brand new 2021 prices. Mm. You can laugh all you want she to. She laughing, man, but, but you just said six months. Like, you're not even exclusive. You're talking about he's marriage-minded. What do you think he's inserting mm. his penis in his hand? No, mm. it could be inserting it somewhere else. Exactly, because here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Men with options don't play these games. Mm. Okay. Hello. All right. You were saying, do I, do I want to hear about your original plan? Right. Okay. No, and I will tell you why. You're not doing it. You're doing what you have to do to survive and live. Okay. Okay. I like. So your original plan, it doesn't matter. It can, it does if it can change my, change my situation. Oh my goodness, bro. Go ahead. Bro, bro. See, bro, niggas do this too, bro. We we tend to try to justify something to try to m take the heat off of ourselves, bro. Just accept the fact, bro. You're you're already you're already exposed. No no point in even trying to hide any further, bro. Just accept the help that Cuddy's about to give you. He's about to throw you the game. But now, nah, like, when he's trying to throw you the game, well, actually, no, you're wrong because whoop de woo 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 Bruh, you came to him for a solution, bruh. Come on now. It doesn't matter. It can, it does if it can change, uh, change my situation. Okay. See? Go ahead. The fact that you're in a situation. I do. No, I, I, no, nobody ever said that. Okay, but anyway. Uh, I mean, I don't remember. You I mean, just go did. Ahead, dude. The reason why this, um, I became a lobotomy technician is because there's something Struggling. called the paramedical insurance exam. I'm not sure if you heard about, about, about that. It doesn't basically. matter. Go ahead. <laughs> he 
just sitting there listening to this, bro. He just sitting there listening to this guy, Cap, bro. You could tell my guy doesn't even know what to say. He's just sitting over there fumbling over his words. B. I, don't, I don't have to know right, what you're going to go ahead. Right, it's a break. Look at it, man. Don't be a bitch. Don't right. be a little bitchy boys. Bitch get the fuck off my phone, spit. bitch. I don't fuck get the you. phone. Go take blood, boy. Can't even, you ain't look a job where people quiet in the background. Then he going to play the American <laughs> Well, Kevin, uh, Mr. Samuel, it seems I'm just I have a question. Do you date 30 year old women? Because you mentioned on the last. She's yeah. Yeah. See, see those these type of arguments right here. I, I just tend to stay away from, bro. I, I have a question for you. Do you date 30 year old? Whoa, 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 whoa. Like whenever somebody's coming to have a argument, that, that's an argument, by the way. It, it, it seems like it's going to turn into an argument. Just by how she's coming with the energy, you can already tell, bro. It's gonna be an argument, but she's coming all aggressive. Like, no matter what he says, he's gonna be wrong. No matter what he says, even if it seems right, it's gonna be I wrong to her. <laughs> and that is a question. Why? Yeah, I mean, if you're doing it, why would you say you're fifty? Because okay, 15. first off, let's how about, how about, okay. You want to answer that question? It's a double standard. Just like. You can stay at home while I got to go work. If mm. I was at home and you worked, people would look at me a certain way. This is a double standard that's been with us since time immemorial. Children mm. can come out of whatever I do. I can be 70 years old, and as long as I'm not shooting blanks, I can make babies. You can't. Mm. And I don't care what you look like. So I don't care. But, but, but I said, no, no, I, I don't care what you look like. But before a woman's going to sign off and become your missus, they're going to check their pockets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, don't, so, so, right. so if you honestly think, okay, he, he, here's the thing. Uh, Ladies don't like broke niggas either, bro. They do not like broke people, bro. You can't. He 100% right, bro. How you gonna get married and not want your wife to know how much money you have? First of all, how y'all not this? How y'all get married before you, you you even discuss finances, bro? Like you you wasn't even stable enough to be married. <laughs> Hmm. It's one of those times where you can tell a dude clearly watched too many Disney movies as a kid. You know what I'm saying? But you're about to get that reality. I don't know your me. first name, so what is it? Walter. Walter. If you would have, if you would have wake up tomorrow and be broke, how long do you think your wife would stay? Until I die. Okay. Hope hope that never happens to you. Hope you never. But that would be the first woman you hit. Well, I went to the first woman. But where's she, is your wife asleep or is she talking to you? No, she just walked up. She, I woke up. I'm not going. I'm not going to inject any difficulty into your marriage, Walter. But I, <laughs> I got gray in my beard, and gray on my head, and uh, what you're saying does not comport with anything I've ever experienced in my living life. You're a very good communicator. I know. Thank you very much. And that's why I said money is more than nice. It is required. If you One thing I like about this, you see how you see how this conversation went like well. Like my guy, he try to have like some type of justification but then like you know kevin sandwich just keeps it real with him he's just like yeah you know I, I suppose you're right yeah that's that's how you gotta be able to, people gotta be willing to accept criticism bro. especially a woman of quality. a lot of people just aren't willing to it's like a Thanks. pride thing define you guys still haven't defined quality everyone's all right see i'm not gonna go back and I forth with this back. again i take it back see this is part of the problem young men this is a man who's sitting up in the house with a wife and gonna sit there and tell you money's nice, but you know, if, you, if this, this dude is honestly trying to say, Miss Walter, your husband just said if he lost all his money, you'd be living right on the corner with it. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you and your older age, because I'm assuming y'all are roughly the same age, this man has basically said if he lost it all, you'd be happy to be going, living in that box with him until, and he said mm. until he died. That's what he mm. said. Until he died. That's nah. the energy you're getting. Because you're a guy First who said you don't think you should have to approach women. To their they should give you choosing signals. Home Where would you grade. rank yourself on a scale from 1 to 10? How tall are you? 5'10". 5'10". How much do you weigh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. You can already tell. 250 at least. 5'10", 250. Guarantee you, bro. He asked him, how tall are you? Oh, I'm 5'10". He answered with a quickness, bro. 
But then he was like, how much do you weigh? Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Come on now, bro. Every guy knows his weight or can at least ballpark a, a weight off the top of his head. I'm probably like last time I weighed myself, I was probably like 197. Like, see me, bro. I'm 6'2", 215, you know what I'm saying, I try to get in the gym as much as possible, you know what I'm saying, I'm not, but you can already tell, bro, cuz, cuz gonna say something probably about, like, cuz he gonna say, like, 250, bro, I weigh about, two what, depending on the day, <laughs> between 280 to 285, so you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> five, you think ten, a five foot ten, two, almost three hundred pound dude. How much money you make? Like four hundred every two weeks. Four, so you make four hundred every two weeks. So you make eight hundred a month. Eight hundred, eight hundred a paycheck times two, sixteen hundred a month, sixteen hundred times twelve. That's, oh, that's like maybe twenty. Month you make uh, less than ten thousand dollars a year. Okay. But how many hold 20 up. year olds was him? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, I was a 20 year old and I was making far more money than that. In the 80s, a minimum wage was 335 an hour. So I need to hear it. How long? Mm. You got a big dick? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he asked, bro, bro, this is the male checklist, bro. He literally going down the male checklist, bro. Literally. Do you got a job? What? Uh, oh, oh, oh. How tall are you? Well, I'm 5'10". Okay, bro, how much do you weigh? Well, uh, um, well, uh, uh, um, uh, 280, 280. Okay, so, so, 5'10", 280, and then he called him fat, and then he said, uh, <laughs> and then he asked him the more important questions, if you get what I'm saying. I mean, 80s or minimum wage was 335 an hour, so I need to hear it. How long? You got a big dick. Into the oh! like, I mean, just... it's above average. I ain't no Ron like, Jeremy. No, 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 no. I, actually, you got a big dick. I just said it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, you know if you got a big dick or not. Stop. Oh, yeah, 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 bro. Just by what he said, I would have just went on to the next question, bro. Because, like, you can, you can clearly tell he's not trying to answer the question. Well, I don't even know what that is, bro. Come on now, bro. Every guy. Every guy. A hundred percent. I don't care what country you in, what language you speak, bro. I, I do not care. Every guy knows the answer to that question, man. Every guy knows the answer to that question. Guarantee you. Guarantee you, bro. Stop, stop capping. Stop capping. I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron no, Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I just said it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, you know if you got a big dick or not. Stop the bullshit. Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big exactly. dick. Exactly. You don't know? I mean. You don't have a big I, dick. That's the point. You don't have a big dick. You don't have a big wallet. You're a, big, you're a fat dude. And you got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing singles at 5'10 and 300 pounds, mm. making less than $1,000 a month at 20 years old. Mm. And women should approach you. What they get, they don't even get a big dick. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. That's a situation, man. That's a situation. But then again, it's not it's never supposed to be about carnal things, bro. About the as the Bible says, it's not supposed to be about carnal things. Like people look at outward stuff, but it's supposed to look at the heart, yo. Yeah? That's what it says. <laughs> of course that's that's fitting to end the video, bro. Kevin Samuels, again, a savage, bro. Complete savage. Kept it real with him, though. Kept it real with him, bro. And as you could tell, nobody could really say anything except for the ones that just, like, kept trying to argue, trying somehow, throwing the lifeline in hopes of being right. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, like, people can get as mad as they want, but if as soon as they overcome that anger, the situ their situation is still there. You know what I'm saying? If you're broke and somebody tells you you're broke, if you get mad about it, okay, but at the end of that anger, you're still going to be broke. So why not do something about it? You feel me? He, he kept it he kept it real with him. Kept it real with that nigga, bro. So, uh, yeah, if y'all find value, value out of this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. I'm going to catch y'all in the next joint. You heard? Peace out.